So uh, we're here at the Fisher Theatre um, and we're heading up to the gallery which is upstairs. And this is the first part of the exhibition. Some work which uh, I did as part of uh, my degree course, master's degree course I should say. Some etchings, and we lead through to the corridor which leads up to the small gallery. The exhibition is a small solo exhibition, it's titled Action Reaction, and it's very much uh, derived through a group of sketches which I did in the sketchbook which was all about just simply making marks no immediate reasons or no real reason as to where they come from except from me making a mark and reacting to it partly creating the name action reaction which is a term which is quite well used in martial arts, specifically judo, which I'm very heavily involved in. So we now come into the small gallery. It's a, a very much a, a multi-use room. So for the opening night, this is all clear. And to start off with, we see some small etchings. These are etchings onto acrylic and they actually stand proud of the back and with some of them I've also reacted onto the back with some more sumi type brushwork and the shadows are created through the fact there's a space really rather interesting move on to this wall here, we have some more of my etchings from previously and some new work which includes some uh, silver leaf and some gold leaf and onto one of the centrepieces, the sort of main sculpture, relief sculpture, which was taken from a large drawing uh, which was made with a, a piece of oak. Um, that was burning to create a charcoal and I was able to get huge sweeping curves with that piece of oak and from that created the idea for this sculpture using different materials something I'm really uh, intrigued and uh, interested in lots of experience with working with different materials love how again how they react with each other And now we move on to some of the small sculptures and these are all in metal which is something which I've been working with more recently. This particular piece is uh, some brass and again it's all about a reactionary process so I don't know what I'm making until I've made it. So it's about a feeling about reacting to one piece of metal, one shape, and then finding something or bending something to that I feel goes with that. This particular piece is uh, it's patinated. This piece includes some elastic bands. I liked the tension and the harmony that there is in this piece and it just felt like the elastic bands helped with that tension. It's made from steel. And the harmony and the tension is something which I'm constantly looking for in these small sculptures. This piece again is brass but this time polished but not finished so clinically that you lose 
lose some of its its feel so you can understand how some of it was made. Next piece is very simple and I just loved the simplicity of the curves, the shapes created, the movement, which is something which again is very much what I try and strive for, to give these pieces life. This piece seems to have caught a lot of attention, probably because of the bright orange. But again, there is a life and there is tension, harmony and movement all within this piece. But I didn't know that was going to happen when we started it. It just developed as I was making. Some more of my original etchings. And some new work, which again is a mix, mixed media. It includes gold leaf, steel, sumi type work. And again, these have a real vitality, almost musical feel. Next two pieces are something which I personally feel very, very happy about. It's about an idea which I am always interested in how you can bring 2D and 3D together. And these pieces were done individually. So the metal work was made separately to the drawing, to the sumi, the 2D work. It wasn't contrived. But again, the process of putting them together was a, a reactionary process where some pieces worked and some didn't. Personally, for me, I believe <coughs> that these two pieces really work extremely well. The light, the shadows created, dependent on where the, the light is coming from. But each piece needs the other element. Can't have one without the other. And we finish with uh, a piece which I again I did some time ago, a piece of acacia which is burnt with stainless steel. And we were able to suspend this in the ceiling where it takes on a whole new feel. I'm very pleased to be able to try that. It was something I wanted to do previously. <coughs> and uh, that's, uh, that's the completion of this small solo exhibition at the Fisher Theatre. Upstairs Gallery in Bungie in Suffolk. Thank you.